Okay, this is a short video. We're headed into Manassas today. It's the 21st of January. And uh, we got low level wind shear, we got a turbulence. The uh, high pressure is in the area. And we've been ridge running as we've been descending out of 9,000. We're currently 3,500. And just thought you guys might like to see what this is like. Uh, there we go, nice bump there. See what uh, heavy turbulence is like in a 310. Glad to have you guys aboard nonetheless. Uh, the controller is going to come back and give us, give us 2,000 feet here in just a moment. We're at 3,500. And we've, uh, let's pull the power back even more. To maneuver to be. What's that say? Four six is set to maintain two thousand. Two thousand four six nine eight four six. And let's get down to two. What's that say? Eight four six Manassas Airport. Twelve o'clock and seven miles. 846 has the airport in sight. This is 846, clear visual approach, runway 348. There is a diamond there ahead of you at your uh, 12 to 1230 and uh, 2 miles, uh, 1,400. Clear the visual for 34 right, and there's a diamond ahead, 69846. Okay, we're going to have to do a few things here quickly. That's What's that, 846? The uh, diamond's going to make a 360, I guess, to follow you inbound. He's there at your, uh, now 2 o'clock. Um, clear visual approach, runway 34 right, contact Manassas Tower 133.1. 33.1, and we got the diamond inside. What's that, 846? Let the uh, tower know that he has a diamond inside. 846, open up tower. And Manassas Tower, Twin Tessa 69846 with you. Twin Tessa 69846, Manassas Tower, runway 34 right. Clear to land, wind 330 at 14, go 26. 34 right, clear to land, 69846. 346, safe park. APPJ. 346, roger. Additionally, we did have a low level wind shear uh, by rip from a phenom uh, approximately 15 minutes ago. And correction, that was by a uh, Citation 560 reported a loss of 15 knots. Altitude was between 300 and 350 feet. 846 Roger. That was uh, 5 Mike Mike, if I remember. Is that correct? Alright. Uh, so, Alpha is uh, back in balance. I've uh, got the process in sight and I extend it for a long final. Number 846 affirmative. I just checked and it was by number 5 Mike Mike. 846 Roger. We're uh, turning final. I'm 846, Roger. And just for information, uh, Diamond, about a mile and a half uh, in trail is going to be following you, no factor. 846, Roger. Diamond 2, Pop Alpha. A maneuver as necessary. Number 2, behind the twin Cessna, runway 34 right, clear to land, and use caution. A Challenger, correction, a Citation 560 reported uh, loss of 15 knots on final between 300 and 350 feet. I see one two pop out, number two behind the twin system, and thanks for the uh, heads up on the on one. And we're going to land long. And I'm clear for number two on three four right. Two pop out for Roger. At tower six nine four six, we're going to land long uh, just to keep the speed up. Number eight four six approved as requested. Wind three four zero at two zero, gust two six. Eight four six, Roger. Okay, so we got the gear down, flaps down. Go through our checklist one more time. We're high, and we're high for a reason. That is the wind shear. And we can always lose altitude, but of course you don't want to get into a, a problem where you're low and we're short. So that's what we're making sure that we're not going to be uh, low and short. All right. That one red dot is all we want to see. I want to keep that at one red or all white so that I can make sure that I'm going to make the runway. 
And now that I have both flaps, I didn't have to go full flaps, but I am. And of course, we're going to float a little bit because of the speed. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I do not claim that as skill. It just happens that way sometimes. A greaser in tough conditions. All right, 46, taxi to the east ramp via Bravo 2, Bravo, stay with me. Bravo 2, Bravo to the ramp and stay with you. By the way, no wind shear uh, reported on final. Ray 46, very good, thank you. Get her in. You can see some of the snow that's left here in the DC area. And with the storm that just went through this past weekend, uh, they've been having uh, some weather issues to include wind shear and heavy to mo moderate to heavy turbulence at uh, 3,000 to 6,000 feet. But the O310 handled it fine. Thanks guys for flying along. 